and welcome to another video of mine. So today we are going to do another lip swatch video and for today's we are going to swatch the Sephora's cream lip stains. I got this in a pure package and I am so excited about them. I've actually tried the Sephora cream lip stains before and I absolutely love them. So when you take the cap off it looks like this. So many lipsticks and I love it. So yeah, these are all of the shades that we are going to swatch today. So without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we are starting off with the lipstick that I have on my lips today. And I have been wearing it now... Wearing it? <laughs> wearing it now for around four hours actually. And I love the formula of this and I love how it lasts. It looks gorgeous even now that it's been four hours. So I really, really like these liquid lipsticks, just to put it out there in the beginning of this video. But the lipstick shade that I have on today is called 33, and it's this beautiful, like, cool-toned, dusty rose nude that I really, really love. Like, it looks so good with my tan skin, and I think it will look really good on my pale skin as well. <laughs> And next up we have the shade 35 to swatch. Okay, so this is how it looks and you guys know that I love purple lipstick. I think it looks so cool. And this one is more like a, like a muted light purple, which I like and I think it could suit a lot of people. And next up is shade 13. This shade I think a lot of people would really like, but I'm not really into like muted pinks. I just think they look kind of boring on myself. I don't know why, but I'm not really into it, but I do think it's a very cute color. Then we have shade 23. These glides on so smoothly. I absolutely love the formula of these. And it might resemble the last one a little bit, but it's more like a nude in my opinion. So I actually really, really like this shade, but again, it is the shade 23. Next up is the shade number 3. This is... what is this? It's like a strawberry pink slash red. It's very neon, but like also muted, which makes no sense. <laughs> and then we have a shade that I am super excited about, number 18. Okay, so you guys know that I absolutely love orange lipstick and this is just like the perfect mix between orange and red even though it's a lot more orange than red but like for those of you that are scared of the orange lip try this one and I think you will love it. Then we have number 17. So this dark red is one of those shades that I'm not 100% into just because it's like it's not this cool toned red it's more like a warm toned red uh, which I'm not 100% into unfortunately but it is a very gorgeous shade but it's just more like a cranberry dark red kind of and then number six so this is number six like a muted light barbie pink Kind of. <laughs> and then we have what looks like a classic red lip, maybe a bit darker, but uh, it's the shade 1. So it is a bit darker than a classic red, but it is beautiful. I much rather have a cool undertone in a red than a warm. So this one is totally my kind of red. And number 22. This lipstick shade actually looks so much better like on your lips than in the tube, I think. I think in the tube it looks way too uh, brown, but on the lips it's more like a corally brownish nude. And I absolutely love it. It's so cute. And then number 21. Alright, you guys already know that I love this shade. It looks so cool. It is like this cool toned grayish brownish with a hint of purple in it 
and I think it looks so cool. I do think that I would use it a, a with a warm, more warm toned eye look, just because I think I'm way too cool toned at the moment. But I absolutely love the shade of this. And now for another purple, this is the number 20. Okay, so this shade is obviously one of those shades that is fun to have, but it's kind of hard to wear. First of all, my teeth look very yellow with this cool toned purple. Um, it just doesn't clash that well. But it is a very fun color, so it's nice to have. Obviously, I'm not going to wear this for an everyday color, but... It's fun. <laughs> and then number 19. This one is my type of purple for sure. I really like the more warm tone ones. And I think the, this one looks really cool. So as you guys can see, my lips have started to get stained. But that's how it is when you've like swatched 15 lipsticks <laughs> or whatever. Uh, the next one is 38. Compared to the last one, this one is a lot more warm toned and more like a cranberry purple. I don't know, <laughs> but it looks really cool and uh, I really like it. So now we are going to go in with the only one that has shimmer in it, I think. It is number five. I didn't even know that I had like a metallic lipstick in their liquid lipstick range, but they do. <laughs> um, you guys already know I'm not a fan. I think it looks very cute. I think it would look a lot better on someone with a darker skin tone and also someone with bigger and juicier lips. <laughs> um, someone that doesn't overline their lips like I do. Um, but. Yeah, it's cute. And number 25. Okay, so I absolutely love this shade. It's like this dark red with a hint of brown and also like a bit rustic, kind of. Uh, it's super nice and I think it will look amazing on all different skin tones. Yes. <laughs> Next up we have this super dark brown and it is the number 27. Okay, so this lipstick shade totally fooled me. It looks brown in the tube, but it's more like a dark, dark plum. And I love it so much. I'm so happily surprised that it's not a brown actually. Next up must be a brown because it looks so brown, but like a lighter one. And it is number 26. So this is kind of what I thought the last shade should look like or would look like. Um, it's just like a true chocolate brown. Dark chocolate brown. And it looks very cool and it actually looks really really nice with this eye makeup I think. And then we have number 24. So this shade is like a dark plum cranberry something something. Um, I actually think it looks a lot like uh, Jeffree Star's Androgyny that people went crazy over. It's very similar like that but a uh, tiny bit darker. Or it looks like Kat Von D's... What's it called? I will write it right here. Uh, it looks very similar to that as well. I love this shade. And then we have number 16. I had to open the window, so if you hear people outside, that is why. So this is number 16, and it is this warm-toned, purpley cranberry color, <laughs> kind of. And now it is the last shade, and it is a dark, and it's number 28. Alright, so I must say, this is a really, really good black lipstick. You guys know I love black lipstick. And I actually did a whole vlog post swatching all of my black lipsticks so you could like compare them all. And the Nabla liquid lipstick actually won. So I will link that down below if you want to see the whole vlog post. Uh, but this one is for its price. I know that Sephora isn't very cheap in all countries but in most I think it's kind of cheap. Um, as it's their own brand. But it's a very very dark yet black 
color. Alright, so that was it for this lip swatch video. I am so tired now and my lips feel very dehydrated. So I'm going to remove all my makeup and just apply like a moisturizing face mask. <laughs> And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would be very, very cool if you did. Um, and yeah, I hope we will see each other in my next video. Bye!